Hey everyone, I am going to show you a quick video on how to upload a workout into your Zwift. So what uh, we will be doing a lot over the, the coming year is we will be doing workouts using Zwift. So you can train at home without having to come into the studio. So to do this, what you'll need to do is, I'm already in the actual platform here, but what um, when you first come into the menu, then you can see select workout. So essentially it's the same thing if you were to click on um, select your workout, you come up with a bunch here. But as you can see, Zwift already put in quite a lot. So the FTP testing is something that we'll be using as well. But they have, they have quite a few different um, training plans here. However, they are very limited in the... Um, in the, in the longevity of, of what they do. So there's only, they're quite specific to, to different types of uh, training and also they run out quite quickly. Whereas what we'll be doing is we'll be adding uh, workouts on a, on a regular basis so that you never get bored of your training. Hopefully that will move towards um, you becoming a faster, stronger rider. So as you can see, I've got a couple of different workouts in here already. So Let's just pretend that I have created the endurance bunny for you guys and what it has down here. So that's my FTP. Um, but what, what, it, what it's based on is uh, TSS, which is training stress score. So that's how I create all of my different workouts and, and depending on what type of um, activity we're looking to, to do. So imagine I've created that and then I have sent it to you via email so it might come through a direct email into your inbox or it might come from um, our uh, email platform um, but it should come as an attachment so what you're looking to do is uh, either download it individually or if there's multiples you can download all the different attachments uh, if you're on a Mac uh, they will go into your downloads folder if you're on a PC. I believe there is something similar. So what that will do is it will come over here. So imagine we go into Docker, sorry, downloads. And they are down here in downloads. So they are a ZWO file. And then what you're looking to do is essentially... For me, I've got to drag them. I don't believe I can cut them. No, nope. so I'm just going to drag these two. What I'm going to do is head over to... So in your documents file, I think this is both on PC and Mac, once Zwift is up and running, you've got a Zwift file, and it should be in this folder here, this documents folder. You should see it. If not, just search your computer and you'll be able to find it. So when you go into Zwift, you've got your workouts folder just over here. And all you're looking to do is basically take these files, drag, drop, there you go. And as soon as you do that, they will appear in your workouts folder when you log on. So you need to make sure that you do this before you actually log into your workout. So I'll be sending these in plenty of times so that you've got the chance to upload them into your folder. But... Um, at the moment, that is how you do it. So this is for PC. There is a whole different way to do it for iOS, uh, which I will also do a video on. So if you want to um, to know how to do that, then we will um, be able to show you that soon. So any questions, please do let us know. And we look forward to seeing you on Zwift and uh, giving some training sessions. See you soon.